What's up everybody? This is DJ Terry T from the Rewind Crew and you're going to learn more about me in the Green Room Sessions. Terry T is a um, guy who lived in Baltimore all his life. Actually Terry T is a living vehicle for Terry McCoy. Terry T is a way that Terry McCoy expresses his way uh, through the world with music. Some of my musical influences was um, Grandmaster Flash, a um, uh, guy named Mixmaster Phil, uh, Richard, um, and needless to mention the We Rock crew. I mean, those two guys like inspired me more than anything. I, do I started DJing at the band Inspired. Um, by legendary DJs like Grandmaster Flash and those DJs who battled up in New York City um, in the parks. Um, I had a cousin named Frankie who used to come from New York City to uh, let me hear these different uh, cassette tapes of DJs battling in the park up in New York City. So I took interest of in that and I started scratching on component sets, you know, way before uh, I knew what Technique 1200 was. I started DJing as an amateur like in 1982, practicing on my mother Capone set, breaking needles. Um, thereafter, um, I got my own turntable, started DJing professionally in 1983, um, starting off at WWIN radio station. The way the We Rock Crew formed was Jeff and I were friends, you know, as, as young adult kids. And, um, Jeff was a guy who, he liked to talk a lot. And so he learned how to rap. And, you know, he sounded good putting these words together. Um, he, Jeff would always stutter a lot sometime when he would, would talk, but rapping he never stuttered. And um, I liked it to mix, you know, and Jeff used to listen to the tapes that my cousin bought from New York. So, um, he started rapping and we put the, um, put a rap together before called Check It Out Check. I took the Mac James, you know, upon me being on the radio, Mac James approved of it. And we just called ourselves at that time, before with the We Rock crew, um, just Terry T and Jeffrey G. Thereafter, um, Universe was a, a rival uh, um, rap um, guy, uh, uh, Jeffrey's. And them two was um, scheduled to battle at a party one night. I wasn't there, but uh, the battle never happened. And they became um, together as, as, as a union, you know, of, um, of a group. And um, they came up with the name We Rock Crew. And the rest was history. Those two was dynamic duos. Uh, the way we became the Murphy Crew was we had a record that was out that was called Rock and Fresh where we signed a contract and um, you know we we wasn't that literate far as the business side of the business so uh, those who took advantage of us own uh, told us that they owned the name We Rock Crew so we changed our name over to the Murphy Crew and um, even though we changed our name to the Murphy Crew, our followers and supporters still recognize us as the We Rock Crew. When we first started out, um, oddly, our goal wasn't about the money making. We just had a love for it. You know, um, it was those that, that, that was kind of deceiving us behind the scenes who seen us the monetary value, the money in us. And what brought that to our attention was we selling out the Baltimore Arena and not getting paid, you know, showed us that we could hurt them more. And, that, and I believe that's when I came to know the value, you know, of, 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 of the talent that we had, you know. So, and in long essence, I, I never knew that my talent, um, was a money maker until people start taking advantage of us and that as far as money. It was very self gratifying to hear myself on the radio, um, knowing that I've created something in the comfort of my home 
and now it was being broadcast in the homes of millions. And my I, and I believe that my my most gratification was the response that I seen out of other people when they heard me on the radio. You on the radio, you know things like that. Uh, some of the groups that was out when we were out, um, first I want to give a, a big shout out and some love to the AP crew. They was from Landover, Maryland, and they was doing that thing on WEBB. Uh, um, when it comes to the Baltimore groups, um, it was us, the We Rock crew, the Charm City crew, the New Marks, the Uno Girls, the Sea Force, the Rock Shot crew, the Power Force, and um, Golden Boys. And, and groups of that nature, man. And um, it was all love, man. It wasn't like um, it was like on, on on the playing field, we was rivals. But after we came up the stage, it was all love. I definitely want to give a shout out to WWIN and WEBB, WWIN and WEBB. They were rivals, but then they wasn't rivals because WWI, WEBB came on from like, what, three to seven? They went off the air like seven o'clock. And when we came on the air, we came on the air at, at, at seven. So, um, I mean, they were, they were definitely the, the, motivate, the motivating um, vehicle in our careers that uh, really skyrocketed us. Uh, WWIN, you know, along with, you know, Mac James, and when we turned over to the Murphy crew, we went to WBB, and um, we used to have a Chuck Max. And um, they both had the same format, it's just different faces, but the same program, you know. Um, yeah, we were sponsored by Charlie Rudos. Um, we did commercials for them, and we was also sponsored by Sportmont. Sportmont, when we did shows, they used to give us like free clothing, whatever we wanted to put on. You know, they, they just wanted us to wear um, their clothing. But Charlie Rudos, we just go in there and get tennis shoes and do radio commercials and things like that. This is DJ Patrick Scientific from the Audio Infusion. First, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, Click the subscribe button below.